Welcome back to FYI Weekly. If you flourish in a high energy work environment and enjoy helping others in need, you could be an ideal candidate to serve as a telecommunicator. Joining me via Zoom to tell us about the hiring process is Christine Moore. She is the operations manager with Guilford Metro 911. Hello, Christine. Welcome to the show. Hi, Carla. Thank you for having me. Thank you for joining me. So tell us, for people who are not familiar, what is a telecommunicator? So a telecommunicator for Guilford Metro 911 means a couple of different things. One, you're answering 911 calls. So if anybody ever has an emergency where they're dialing 911, our team is who they're going to talk to. We're going to ask you questions, we're going to process the call, and we're going to send it over for dispatch where other members of our team are waiting and, and working to send your call out, whether it's to Greensboro Police, Guilford County Sheriff, Greensboro or Guilford County Fire or EMS. Wow, so lots of hands in the fire and lots of calls that I know you answer on a daily basis. Now, um, there are requirements obviously to be able to handle such a high energy job. Tell us about that and the hiring process. What does that involve? So the hiring process starts with just applying. So you can go to City of Greensboro's website, which is greensboro-nc.gov, and see our job posting for emergency communication specialists. There are requirements and expectations that are on that posting, and you can apply from there. So some of the requirements for your application to actually make it to us is you must be 18, you must have a GED or a high school diploma, you must be a U.S. citizen, you can't have any felony criminal history. You can't have more than one class B felony in the 10 years prior to applying, or you cannot have two class B misdemeanors ever. Okay. Quite we do have a, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, you're fine. We do have a typing test requirement as well. It's 34 words per minute. And that's a uh, key to point out because as the telecommunicator is receiving the call information, they're typing in the information that goes directly out to your first responders? Yes, ma'am. Okay. It's a lot of information and detailing it quickly for a quicker response from our field. Absolutely. Now, what are the highlights or what would you say are the benefits of being a telecommunicator? So I would say a lot of the team members that I work with our one goal is to support our community. And this is a different way than what people normally think of being able to serve the community. It's, a, it's public safety, so it's high pace, high energy, but you don't have to see it. You don't have to touch it, but you still get to be a part of it. And we like to refer to ourselves as the first first responder. We're the eyes and ears of those that are actually responding to the call. So getting to be a part of that process, our people save lives every day by starting CPR um, just from the phone call before anybody in the field can actually get there and, and lay hands on the victim or patient. So there's just so many wonderful things about the job, but I think the highlight for me is serving my community. I consider the telecommunicators heroes. Yes. As you said, they are that first touch point to our community. Sometimes they're delivering babies. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're in a really scary situation and someone may be broke into your house, they're helping you to stay calm, right. get that information, where is your location. So we definitely cannot do without our telecommunicators. I agree. We're the calm in the storm. Um, so tell us, once you become a telecommunicator, talk about the career path in terms of advancement. So we are fortunate to have different levels of telecommunicators. So when you're hired, you're hired as a call taker, which is answering those 911 calls and admin lines. And as you go further in your training, you can become an emergency communication specialist too, which means you can take phone calls and you can dispatch two of our three uh, disciplines. So a discipline would be law, fire, or EMS. So as a two, you can do call take and two, or as a master telecommunicator, you can do call take and work all three disciplines. Okay. We also have certified training officers um, who train our rookies. That's a huge part of what we do in, in ensuring that everybody's able to do the job well. Um, we have supervisors, assistants, and senior supervisors, and then other areas within Guilford Metro that include our radio shop and our own IT and quality assurance. So there are a lot of opportunities here. 
Wonderful. So if someone is looking to maybe even switch gears, so many people have changed careers as a result of the pandemic, realizing that they want to make more meaningful choices with what they do in their workday, this would be an ideal place to start. It is. And it's it's exciting. It's rewarding. And at the end of the day, you can go home and say that you truly made a difference in somebody's life that day. Absolutely. Now you are using social media, Facebook in particular, as a recruitment tool. How are you using that platform? We are. And it's something that we've recently started. Um, one is we like to highlight our telecommunicators that do play a role in a true life save, which means that somebody actually makes it home from the hospital after requiring CPR to be performed. So we highlight those individuals. But we also started a new Facebook series called Behind the Scenes 911, the first first responder. And it's on our Guilford Metro 911 Facebook page. And it's a way of introducing our first line telecommunicators and supervisors. So people can see that they're they're real people and they're human beings too, and seeing that kind of human side to our our 911 professionals. That's really important considering sometimes the job has high stress moments because you are kind of holding someone else's life in your hands for that moment of interaction. So it would be really nice to give the community that opportunity to see and to heighten the level of appreciation that we have for these folks. And before we go, you did recently implement a higher salary for the telecommunicator roles. Tell us a little bit about that and how it's helping with recruitment. So we were kind of right on the borderline of being a competitive in the 911 market. And so thankfully our city manager's office and city council were willing to work with us towards making us above the rest in the pay salary, especially with the call volume that we deal with on a day in day basis. So we are proud to announce that as of July 1st, we increased our starting salary to $39,444, which is a huge milestone for our career. Absolutely. And much deserved, much needed. And certainly we hope that's going to get more folks to take a second look or a first look for that matter, if they've never considered Guilford Metro 911 and joining your telecommunicator force and you all, you all are a force to be reckoned with. Thank you. So we appreciate the hard work and dedication that you, your team, and the telecommunicators bring each and every day. I hope that the information you shared has inspired people to submit an application. And like I said, just join a team where you're going to truly be making a difference. Exactly. And thank you for having us and highlighting us. Thank you. Come back anytime. All right. I'm going to hold you to it. Okay. (laughs) Stay tuned for some useful information as we tell you something about the city that's coming up after the break. Stay with us.